Colorado has about 37 different categories that we have price agreements for, 20 of which are NASPO value point contracts. We have a pretty small state purchasing office because we're decentralized. There's actually only five of us in our group. And even though we have about 17 Colorado-led solicitations, to lead an additional 20 would be rather excessive. So the benefit we find in the NASPA value point agreements is the fact that we don't have to do the work in the RFP. Somebody else has already done it. And as most people in the procurement profession know, writing an RFP is extremely time consuming, extremely lengthy. So just the added benefit of another state taking on that responsibility, hashing out the terms and conditions with the vendor, and then Colorado simply reading through the master agreement and tacking on their own terms and conditions is a huge time saver for our office, again, because we are such a small group. Colorado is the lead state for body armor. We started on the RFP process February of last year. I have a sourcing team of about six other individuals, and it took us until roughly September to have a finalized RFP, posted it for uh, the specified amount of time. We did evaluations and awards in December, and then I finally got the master agreements in place in March. So it's at least a 12-month commitment once you decide to start writing the RFP. So I think whoever is interested in becoming a lead needs to be aware of the time involved. They also need to be able to delegate because you cannot do it by yourself. There's a lot of different pieces that fit into the puzzle, a lot of research that needs to be done, and a lot of input that you need to get from subject matter experts because just because you're a lead doesn't necessarily mean that you are an expert on that commodity you have to be an expert in your process. There's a big difference between the two. One of the things that I'm looking forward to is a recent solicitation that NASPA Valley Point did. I believe it was led by the state of Oklahoma, and it's public safety camera equipment. It's body cameras, it's vehicle mounted equipment, and I will actually be overseeing the participating addendum process for that category, which I'm looking forward to because I also manage the body armor contract for NASPA Value Point, and then I also have a Colorado-led solicitation for ammunition. So I've heard from a lot of other states that they've got bigger purchasing staff than what we have and that individuals are assigned to specific commodities. Because Colorado is so diverse, it's kind of nice to have several categories that, that fall into you know, the same type of, of business line. It'll be exciting to see just what NASPO has in store in terms of sourcing team members, who lead states are going to be, because more than likely with over 50 categories right now, there's bound to be interest in other categories that haven't been pursued yet.